Alright guys, what is going on? Oink here, and today we have got the seasonal picks of the week for the trial events. You'll find them there just next to the New Year's holiday trial, time trial and drift trial number 52. So if we look at uh, each of them and I'll go through uh, each event and you know which cars I chose for the different events. So first off in the time trials we've got a 600 performance points Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG. So that is the only car that you can use with a max tyres of sports hard and 600 performance points of course. Then we've got a Chamonix 500 performance points which obviously requires the snow tyres. Any car maximum of 500 performance points. Looking into the drift trials we've got a again Mercedes-Benz LS, SLS AMG. Um, it can be any power and uh, you know comfort tires and then we've got a chamonix again uh, as long as you've got snow tires that's fine so looking at the first trial event then with the sls amg uh, the first time trial that is obviously you take the sports hard tires those are the uh, best tires that you can use for this event you can see my custom setup for the um, suspension there um, if i go into drivetrain upgraded the the clutch and flywheel of course and there's my uh, slip limited slip diff settings Transmission I've set at 193 uh, and then in terms of power just upgrade up to 600 performance points I've got no turbo basically none of anything because this has got like the engine tunes and stuff and some body body weight reductions um, So basically just get it to 600 performance points depending on how your car is set up got a bit of rear downforce there um, The wheel I mean the tires were the main problem with this you know because what I use in terms of settings as usual, everything turned off with ABS set at one, um, and uh, with that setup, it was a little bit uh, slide happy. You know, if you put the accelerator down too hard, it would kind of whip out the tail. Um, so just keep it nice and smooth. Uh, to be honest, the time really isn't that hard. When I went around it the first time, I I kind of you know messed up one or two times and hit the walls, and then I just thought I'd finish the lap anyway. And uh, I still I missed it by like half a second, you know, and that was on a crap lap. Even this this particular lap that you're seeing now, it wasn't even a particularly brilliant lap, but you know, still managed to get the time. Um, so it really shouldn't be too much of a troublesome one there. Just take it nice and easy. No need to uh, rush it too hard. You can see that I get in with a second and a half to spare, so plenty of time. Second one then is Chamonix, and I was struggling to look for a car for this one, and I looked on the leaderboards, and everyone was using this Elise 111R racing mod, so I thought, yeah, whatever, give it a go, um, and it worked out absolutely great. Um, you can see I got the snow tyres, I wasn't too sure what to do with the suspension, so I just gave it, uh, I, I didn't drop the ride hood any, so it's got a nice ride on the suspension, because obviously it's pretty bumpy in the snow. I didn't really know what to do with the li limited slip diff either, you can see my transmission there. Um, and then get the performance points up to 500. Uh, I don't race the snow too much, so I'm not really, um, you know, the best in the best in the snow, and I don't really know too much about how to alter settings and whatnot. I mean, I'm sure I could go online on uh, GT Planet or something and find a good setup for it, but you know, it, it doesn't matter. I, I managed to get the time with this car. I tried a couple other cars, and uh, even with a nice clean lap, I was sort of five seconds behind. So I think your car selection is quite important for this one. Um, but like I said, if you're struggling for a car, this Elise Racing mod, absolutely fine, did the job. Uh, again, watch out for that bump there, by the way, that's sort of halfway around the track and it can just throw you right off. Um, again, with the last one, I didn't even have the best of laps with this. I can easily, easily improve on it. There were several occasions where I sort of um, over-rotated the car on, on certain corners and, uh, you know, could have gone faster through areas because, I, you know, this was only sort of the second time I'd tried it and you can see there I came in with a couple of seconds to spare again, so shouldn't be too much of a problem. Moving on to drift trials then, again, we're starting with an SLS only event. Obviously take those um, comfort tyres, uh, hard or soft, depending on which it is you prefer. Suspension-wise, you can see I've lowered the ride height, uh, given a bit of camber and negative toe. Uh, the usual sort of stuff, Again, it wasn't too much of a serious tune, I just kind of quickly did it, it wasn't um, something I felt was necessary. You can see here transmission down at 149, although I might increase that a little bit just due to you know how I found it handled whilst I was doing the event. Um, I didn't really bother with too much performance upgrades, I just left it as it is. Um, it was kind of a sloppy sloppy one for me there you can see I miss out on a lot of points I did that a couple times and managed to get over 3,000 on that first corner so uh, you know not the best there 
Equally on this one, I could have got way closer to the apex on that first corner and got in probably at 4,000 points. So you can see there's lots of areas where I could have done a lot better. And even with that, uh, I came in a fair amount. You can see with the whole corner to go, I've nearly hit the gold there. And I co completely cocked up that last corner, um, as you can see there. But still came in about 2,000 over there. Actually, I think that was like the top 1,000 in that in that rankings. I don't know why that was terrible. <laughs> uh, anyway, for the uh, Chamonix drift event, I've actually gone with the Fair Lady Z. This is one of my favourite cars to drift on the track. Um, so I thought I'd just give it a go and uh, try it out. I've never really drifted much in the snow. I can't remember the last time I did it. So I really didn't know what to do with settings. And, uh, you know, this probably wasn't even the best car to choose. Um, I definitely would increase the max speed from 124. That wasn't really a brilliant choice. Uh, and again, uh, a couple of performance upgrades, but not too much. My performance points are just under 500 there. Uh, the car handled okay. I mean, I, I don't really know. Like I said, I don't have much experience driving stuff in the snow. So... Uh, I'm sure I could have picked a better car or a bit of better settings and something because I've seen people's scores get like 30,000 like the guy in first is on like 32,000 or something when the gold is for 9,000 so he gets triple the score and I didn't get anywhere near that um, but again it it's not too hard uh, the only weird thing is when you're drifting on the snow because of the way the snow tires work like you'll suddenly just regain grip and so if you uh, overcompensate a little bit too much you can just suddenly veer off in the wrong direction it's a little bit weird you just kind of get got to get into the rhythm of it it's actually quite quite different to drifting on the track it's uh, nowhere near as um, nowhere near as easy really you know it's it's a little bit kind of uh, bumpy and uh, a bit a bit crazy, but you can see there I cleared the gold by an absolute mile, so it really shouldn't be a problem with that one. So I hope you uh, enjoyed these picks of the week. Let me know how you guys did in the comments, and I'll catch you guys on Sunday. Peace.